Hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we will see how we can integrate Gradle with Selenium and TestNG. So in our previous session, we have discussed what is test, uh, what is Gradle, what is the difference between Gradle and Maven and why Gradle is picking up the market slowly. So today we'll uh, see a very important part, how we can integrate actually our TestNG and Selenium and how we can run a Gradle build. Okay, so till now we have been executing the Maven build which used to run our testng.xml file and testng.xml file will use to run our uh, test right which is nothing but the selenium scripts so today we are going to do the exactly same thing but gradle will trigger this testng.xml file so in this video we will talk about how we can create your or how to set up your project for selenium and testng how you can add the dependencies and everything how uh, this part we discussed in our testng series like how to create the test and how to create your testng.xml file so quickly i will go through this as well and finally we will see how we can run our xml file using grid and build okay so we need to create a task here so this task is already predefined task called test task okay but if you want to create some other task and you want to wrap around the test task that is also possible so first we'll go with the inbuilt task which is test okay which is generally used for the unit test so let me go through the Eclipse. So this is the project that we created in our last video. And uh, in the last video, we discussed about one custom task, right? We created one task and it was running fine. So I will increase the font size here. Right. And this was the by default, these dependencies were coming. Now, in Maven, we have to give the dependencies tag and we need to write the dependencies inside the dependencies tag here we have the block dependencies block where we can allow or where we can mention all the dependencies which you need okay like extend report apache poi json jackson selenium test ng whatever you would like to implement in your current project you can just provide the dependency so what we need to do uh, let me start with incognito just open mvnrepository.com and if you don't want to go to mvnrepository.com you can go to their individual website or the blog or their portal and you can download their dependencies so i would like to directly start from here mvnrepository.com and we are looking for selenium so selenium you can take the latest one okay or if you would like to degrade or you want to use some other versions as well you can do that personally i am using 3.11 which is uh, stable for me so what i will do I will just copy this this is how we do comments so I'm not going to comment copy the comment section only copy this compile group and paste it here okay and next thing which we want in testng so just search for testng and personally which I use testng 6.9.10 or 6.10 both are perfectly fine you can see 587 also is fine but let me go with 6.10 and go to Gradle. Just copy this. And that's all. Now, as soon as you press the control S, it is not doing anything. But that was not the case with Maven, right? Maven used to download automatically. But here's a small one extra task you need to do that you need to right click on your project click on gradle and just say refresh gradle project and as soon as you say refresh gradle project it will start downloading all the dependencies which you mentioned just now and you will get a separate section here okay which is your project and external dependencies and you will find all the files under the sections okay it is taking some time it is downloading and that's all it will simply start or it will download all this and it will add. it will take some time so in the meanwhile I can show you what changes we need to do in our gradle.bill file so this is the official documentation guys which I already shared in my previous videos description so here we are looking for one task called test task okay so this test task and if you just go to their documentation okay this is the all documentation about this test and this is the hierarchy right 
java.lang object then we have this abstract default task conventional task abstract test task and finally the test task which will execute our test and this is how you can use it so that they win all the method how to use it what is the uh, documentation everything very important and very useful and very interesting as well so if you have some time just go through it okay anyways i will try to cover as much as possible and uh, since it's a very big i will say build tool which is not like all the features are not applicable for us so we'll try to cover only which is useful for us so how it start you need to start with test task okay and then you need to use test ng okay still it is downloading that's fine in the meanwhile if you want you can keep it otherwise our task is done so i will remove this task and i will directly create a task called test task okay and uh, task i will create and use test ng okay so just copy this now inside this you want to make certain changes right like you want to uh, provide the XML file that which XML file it should take. So we are going to give XML file which we want to execute. So we'll create it. Uh, so the keyword, okay, which is required in order to run your XML file is suits. And inside single quotes, whatever XML file you have, you just need to mention it. Okay. So let's say I want to run my testng.xml file, which I will create in within few minutes okay okay let it complete because it is not allowing me to make any changes yes all the files are here so what we will do let's quickly create one test um, i will create let's say demo you can see it is giving some warning because this package name should not start with capital letter that's fine as of now uh, demo task those who are completely new to test ng i would highly recommend you should watch my previous uh, series where we discussed about the test ng what is test ng how to create multiple tests how to create test ng.xml okay so we will implement okay we will import the test and now quickly Let's start a browser. Okay. See it. what is our main intention that we want to see how to run your testng.xml. So I'm just writing a dummy uh, program which will simply start the browser, open Google or any other random site. Okay, I will open my site itself, which is learn-automation.com and we'll get the title and finally we will quit this is what our test is so what i will do i will just create one xml file so if i go to okay i don't have test ng option here okay so let me right click and run as okay seems i don't have test ng currently in this particular eclipse so it is not giving me that option let me quickly install it will take some time so just a second okay so i just installed the test ng plugin i just paused the recording for a few seconds because unnecessary we have to wait Okay, so I have installed TestNG plugin from Eclipse Marketplace. You can see that option is coming now. And now we can go ahead and create a TestNG.xml file. So let me just right click on this particular file, which is a Java file. And let's quickly create a TestNG.xml file. I'm not changing anything because it automatically generates TestNG.xml. And this is what we have given in our build right so now you can run this gradle build so just right click run as run configuration 
okay and uh, you can select a project so we are dealing with gradle project and you can see a gradle okay just a minute we need to go at the gradle project uh, yes we don't want to save yeah let's create a new configuration working directory we will select working directory gradle selenium and the task which we need to run is test okay so click on apply and if you want to give any name let's say my config it is just we are creating our own configuration and what we want to run we want to run a task called test and simply run it okay so it is executing it is loading so these are some and you can see it is looking quite impressive because it is calculating time for each phase it is loading the build configuring now it is running a task and it should run our test change.xml since this is the first build and we are running first time it is taking additional time but when you run the next build it will not take that time because and it started our test engine.xml file it will go to learnautomation.com which we have given capture the title and simply it will close it and that's all so if you come here our test phase completed okay and you can see it executed our task successfully plus if you go here this is its additional console right so how easy it is to build your gradle right your first gradle build what you need to do you need to just use one test task which is already present and if you're working with j unit then you can uh, take the j unit one but if you're working with test ng you can take uh, use test ng and you can tell which xml you want to run okay now we have executed just a test right but if you talk about maven we have clean test install same thing we have in gradle as well okay so let's say if i want to run this from the terminal so i will just go to properties and i will see where my gradle is located this is here somewhere in this location so i will start my terminal and i will just go to that term, uh, location and what is my task so clean and test okay we need to mention gradle okay so clean is the default task which is there okay in a similar way we have a test so test already we have mentioned that we want to run a test in the task right and it is doing all this Thing before running our test and finally it is executing our task and that's it okay so this is just we have mentioned that we want to run test ng task but if you want to give some more configuration inside this like they want to include some groups you want to run parallel you want to fork right there's so many things so just search for use test ng and if you come here so whenever you call this use test ng it what actually does it returns a test framework specific options okay so you can customize that options as well like you want to generate report you want to change the directory you want to add listeners everything can be done whatever we have in maven everything can be done in gradle as well plus we have some more options so in the upcoming videos we'll talk about more on this okay so i hope this is useful for you what we did we just added test task use test ng and we have added one keyword called suites and uh, test and you simplified yeah so that's all i have for this video guys if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my channel because we will be uploading more videos in upcoming days have a nice day guys bye bye